Hi, welcome back again to another episode. In this episode, I have got a second hand uh, robotic vacuum cleaner. Uh, it names it uh, iRobot or Roomba 650. It's an old version of Roomba, but still uh, it's worth it to see what is inside. So as you see, I got this uh, iRobot from eBay and uh, I'm really excited to see what are the components inside, the electricals, the motors, uh, how is the uh, mechanism or moving mechanism. Uh, we will figure it out and uh, actually it moves, it works, but uh, it has a very bad uh, um, yeah, uh, battery. So I have to replace it, but still it's working. Mm, but I would like to see what is inside. So if you're interested, let's uh, open it up together and see what is inside. <music> Let's see how uh, iRobot Roomba moves according to its algorithm. I just press this on. All right, so then probably I can start. So it starts from a circle and this circle goes bigger and bigger until yeah it collided and it changed the direction, went back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, and then it will take until it finds a way out. Yeah, as you see, it hits the objects until it finds its way out. Alright, then let's open it up. I guess this section belongs to the Aku. If you want to change the Aku, we can open it up from here. But yeah, let's see. I will open all, uh, almost every possible screws and find out what is inside. Alright, this part is now free, maybe we can actually take this out. So this part is actually the um, the the place or the container that the dust or uh, dirt goes inside. There's also a one filter, and yeah, maybe it's not a bad idea to actually change this this one as well. So this part is like that. It's uh, there's there's a brush and uh, it turns around, 
and actually push it uh, with the uh, with the power uh, with the uh, air uh, flow of air into this container or this part of the container and yeah we can have this one or leave it here um, then we have this guy so if we can easily okay there is I see something here I let to see if I can move this one no okay that's how that goes out it's just a mystery Hmm. It is a mystery. It is a mystery. So yeah, you see that's all the legs, or um, in fact the wheels. There is a spring for each wheel that push it forward, so it's always up and but when you push it down you feel it that uh, you feel the spring so a spring is always there and i think yeah each uh, each uh, wheel has a separate motor attached we will find out uh, later and this part but the question is how can i remove this part <laughs> Push this too, I can open this one and I can, uh, yeah, remove the, uh, the brush. If you want, if you need to change the brush at some time, you probably need to, to change it. I also need to change it because it's old. I'm dirty, so, but this is not what I want to remove completely this one. But the question is how we can do that. Okay, maybe we can, maybe we also can remove this one. So I can now remove this this part and now we can, you can see the battery. So the battery is inside. It's uh, I think it's 14 volt battery, and we can probably oh, it's really a mess, really really dirty. We can from here take the battery out. And yeah, should be able to do it, I guess. Some point. It's actually very heavy. Maybe like that. Yeah. Cool, Oda. I think. I hope that you, you guys see this. It's inside there is the uh, connectors for the battery. And the battery is a the battery is yeah, it's a 14 point four volt. 3000 milliampere 
battery which is packed here and you yeah, nice so what else do we have here we can see now the mechanism um, what I don't understand is this part which is actually loose of course it should be probably loose because I see some components or uh, like a switch that when the iRobot is moving and has collision with the objects uh, this part should be probably uh, flexible or movable to to show that there is collision with something and this is somehow for maneuver maneuverability of the of the robot you see that uh, if i can show you good here there are two metals in between and when this guy hits itself to the uh, to the object these two metal bars moves and it's some kind of like navigation or it works uh, yeah i guess perfectly for navigating the next move so this is interesting uh, mechanism I thought that at, at the beginning it's actually uh, out of order it's uh, but no it's intentional intentionally uh, has some degrees of freedom to find out what are the uh, yeah what is the next move basically because when it is pressed it means that there is something under into in the way so it needs to try another way so a very easy i would say mechanism to detect the collision this mechanism is for detecting the collision and then we have one two three four sensors here which I have no idea what are they looks like I don't know we have to open it up and see what are, what are. Uh, I don't know how deep we can go maybe we can actually um, completely take this out so we can see the mechanism easier so let's see uh, we need a smaller we have one motor, this guy, which basically runs these uh, two uh, brushes. One of the brushes is already lost, uh, the other one and the big one. So this, there is something here, I don't know, it is like a chain or maybe it's like just a belt. Uh, inside the structure, it rotates and this is rotated by this uh, motor. And it's just a, like a DC motor, uh, brushless DC motor maybe. And I see that I can see that at the back side also there is one pulley, which this pulley is. Yeah, this is just for fixation, it's nothing. Uh, I just fix the motor to a specific position, nothing else. And then I think this one is uh, the drive uh, or the motor board. And from here, you see the connectors here. And this one or this connector is just for connecting the or powering up the motor. Or maybe the serial board. It could be the power and also the command line from this uh, small PCB because it goes small PCB here, which is the power and probably command for for this uh, DC motor is somehow connected uh, here you see here there is a, a plus so 
What else we have here? As I said, it's really dirty. Uh, I have to wash my hands after that. Um, can we take this guy out? Yes, we can take this guy out as well. And you see the same structure, it's just, um, yeah, one motor. The motor, mm, standard motor, I have to figure it out uh, later about this motor. It actually gives me a lot of information. I need to, uh, maybe I write it down actually. I write down the, the, the number. 1526D, 1526D slash DV. So I have to find out about this one, but it's rather easy mechanism. So when you basically, uh, maybe I can show you here better. You see the spring. So when you when I push it down, the spring uh, retract, uh, and springs moves uh, uh, becomes uh, shorter, and then when I re re remove it, retracts. And the, the, the mechanism from the, the, the motor is also, I think it's like a belt or something, which, uh, yeah. Which is like, like that. So very simple, very, very simple structure. And this is also the connector, which goes to this connector, like the other one here as well. So we have the, the one leg out as well. So I will put it somewhere here and I go to this one. I try to this to take it out the other one as well. Yeah, it is out. So this one is also similar, similar uh, structure. The whole the mechanism with the robot, uh, with the with the motor actually uh, moves up and down, and yeah, interesting. Oops, don't want to lose any screws. So this one is also it here. So now. We have almost everything out. We have also one here. I would like to see this one as well. For this one. For this one. Uh, this is the one that actually, as I said, uh, rotates the this guy. And again, same mechanism with the belt. But the, the, the interesting part is the connector. Uh, you can see that the, there's also one brush. Uh, this is a motor for the brush, a very small motor for the brush. And the power plug is very easy, like as you see. Uh, yeah. A very positive and negative uh, plug. You can you can see it here. Okay, what else do we have? We have this shield. I don't know if I can actually remove this shield, but I'm interested to see. So after you press the clean button, uh, there is one infrared receiver at the bumper, which is at the, at the other side. But these guys that I'm actually 
sh showing you these are cliff uh, robots uh, sensors that actually um, just try to avoid the the uh, robots to fail into the steps if there is any steps they are sending always signals infrared signals and receiving uh, in real time if there is any steps they try to avoid that so this is uh, to understand that there is a, a obstacle in the underway the there is a step on the way or not and at the front side as i have as i have told you there is a uh, also sender and receiver by ultrasound sender and receiver which actually detects the walls and the front walls and uh, it just measures how it uh, how how what is the distance to the wall and there are also some mechanical switches when it bumps uh, it re it uh, understand that okay there is a there is a collision and and then it needs to rotate or change but it's funny because when you turn on the 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 irobot it starts to rotate around itself in a circle and uh, it's because that it starts to monitor how big is the room and then with this uh, monitoring it can identify uh, the the work that it has to do uh, in this room um so yeah as you see these guys are just mechanical switches that uh, actually um, identify the obstacles usually uh, for the, the earlier version it didn't it, it, it tried to not collide with the obstacles or furniture in the uh, in the room but this uh, this uh, generation 650 it actually bumps into the obstacles and tries to find a way out and this one is actually as i said it's, uh, it's it looks to me like an ultrasound which also oh, i think works for measuring the distance uh, between the objects and under the way